What's going on, fellas? It's a quick little video for Chad in Australia. He has commissioned this build for a pyrolyzer burner that is going to be placed inside a combustion environment. And as a result, I've given him a little electrode shroud and a secondary or tertiary air intake, I guess you could say. That's what this second rail is. This is a secondary air rail that kind of keeps off gases from diffusing into the fuel stream, which will cause a flame out in some situations. This burner is going to be run at um, very low outputs, like 30 kilowatts. It has a extra special small nozzle set up for those low fuel rates. And um, it's going to be mainly running diesel. I just wanted to point out that um, the fuel rail and air rails are not interchangeable. You must keep this as the fuel rail. I'm going to send you a little bit of extra plumbing parts. Also, I didn't screw none of this together or paste it together with high temp Loctite or nothing because I'm um, not sure how you guys plan on installing this thing. You wanted some measurements for the face plate. Ideally, you would want to try and make the burner stick inside the combustion chamber and have this section outside of the combustion chamber. But if that's not possible, I understand. Looks like we're looking at about 95 millimeters across the face, both directions. And the total length of the burner and stand itself is about 28 uh, centimeters. And if you need any other measurements about this thing, let me know. But uh, for the most part, this thing's gonna be headed your way. And I wanted to show you the electrode ports. Now these are the standard electrode sizes that we get here in the United States. It's about six millimeters. As you can see, it fits in there perfect. And of course you would wanna leave your electrodes long and bend them into place. Try and get you a shot down the barrel here. You should be able to see your electrodes and all that. And all this comes apart so you'll have easy access to configuring your ignition electrodes. And um, I recommend you not over tighten these bolts. And I'm going to give you a second set of bolts for a back out clamps. If you put two nuts on there like that, you're less susceptible to coming loose in heat because hot environments don't um, treat lock washers very well. So this is a better way of doing that, just double bolting. So I'm going to send you some extra bolts and some extra fittings. The total length of this entire unit is going to be about about 55 centimeters long. And um, there you have it. I'll be sending an instruction manual for the ignition procedure as well.